What up, man? So, um, I want to go ahead and kind of talk about this, and I, I might make another video about this, you guys, but there's been one thing that's really been on my mind lately, and I really wanted to talk about this, and it's it's, it's about the flow state, you guys. It's about flow state. Um, I was thinking about this actually last night when I was um, at the gym. It was like 2 in the morning, and I was just sprinting on the, on the, on the treadmill. And um, even when I'm, like, uploading videos, you know, I consistently think about this, so... I'm going to try my best to articulate this without it going over your head and without it being too boring and stuff like that, y'all. But um, essentially, I'll give you the brief introduction to it. So I read a lot of books, you guys. And one of the books that was stuck out to me a lot when I was especially on the path to learning about this um, red pill stuff, you guys. I read The Game by Neil Strauss. And um, in The Game by Neil Strauss... Neil Strauss talked about this list of books that was going around on Reddit that a lot of the pickup artists would recommend to read. And a part of those, I read a lot of those books, not all of them, but um, I've, I've read quite a few. One of those books was a book about NLP. And uh, let me see, do I have it with me? It's actually back there right behind me. You see that one sitting right there, right above my thumb? Yeah, that that's the book right there, actually. I'm not going to get up because I don't have no pants on. Pause. But um, here's the situation about that. NLP is called Neuro Linguistic Programming. And what NLP is, is it's, it's, a, it's a study of successful humans. Yes, it is a study uh, on the habits and the behaviors of very successful humans. And counselors, psychologists, psychologists sociologists, scientists have studied for decades successful people communicating business you name it and they've collectively created like works that any human can practice and they'll be better and I, I, it's absolutely fantastic you guys I, I love it and so one of those things that they talk about that stuck out to me a lot was this idea called anchoring right and so let me let me tell you what anchoring is and then I'm gonna go into flow state a little bit you guys so Anchoring in NLP is is when you feel something and then you you kind of like it's kind of like it's okay so it's like programming right it's like the M2K if you remember Call of Duty or anything like that you guys how like they say like the Russians whenever they say a code they're like two three four seven eight nine twenty five sixteen and then all of a sudden you click and turn into this robot and and then you uh, start assassinating people or some shit like that. It's kind of the same thing. So anchoring is when you use sounds, you use feeling, you use kinesthetic something, right? Uh, some, some sort of cue to elicit a response, right? So let's say that let's say that you um, you want to anchor a feeling, right? So let's say that you want to anchor happiness. Let's say that you want to be able to call upon happiness and start feeling this sensation of happiness. At, at, at a will, right? So what you would want to do is you anchor by, I don't know, doing something, maybe pinch yourself. Maybe you can just do like a ring like this, connect your middle finger and your thumb. Maybe you could like snap or maybe you can just like whatever. you Whatever it is that you want it to be, you want to anchor, attach a feeling, attach a state of mind, whatever it is that you want to attach. You want to attach this to a physical sensation that is called anchoring right it's kind of like meditating how they want you to go in this pose do cross-legged and then you know put your index and your thumb together that's another form of anchoring you're you're what you the anchoring is in meditation is they want you to elicit the the calming relaxation sensation that's why you cross your legs and you do this right it's a form of anchoring now the flow state i know you guys have heard of the flow state they have so many different words and and it's in every single anything that you can imagine you guys flow state another word for it is runner's high another word for it is when you're when you're rapping you're in the pocket when you're when you're dancing you're on rhythm you're on beat people say oh you got soul oh he's got hearts oh they, when they're speaking, telling a joke, oh, it's hit, it hit a little different. 
You know what I'm saying? There's so many different words that we use and synonyms to describe the flow state. And so what the flow state kind of is also, you guys, is what I like to call it as divine creativity. That's what the flow state is. And the flow state is, is, is all of these things, you guys. The flow state is divine creativity. And then it's also accessing the, the collective divine consciousness. I know these, I'm not, I'm not into this esoteric crystal shit, you guys. No, I just, I, I truly believe that. Think of it like when you hear someone speak it from the heart. Good or orators, good speakers, they speak and it hit different. They're, they're talking to the soul. They're speaking the soul of the of the universe. I read The Alchemist as well, you guys. So the stuff that I'm saying might sound a little out of there, but it's because I've read a lot of different books. In The Alchemist, they talk about the soul of the world, the language of the universe, and things like that, you guys. And this is all kind of like where the flow state, divine creativity, and it all kind of comes into play, you guys. There's so many different examples. You'll see someone rapping, freestyling on beat, and then the way that they're flowing is like they're speaking straight from the heart. They're speaking something different. Whenever they're dancing, you feel you feel the dances, man. It's like it really elicits emotions. They're they're contacting the divine collective, the collective consciousness of humanity. There are different ways that you can access the divine collective consciousness of the world and stuff like that, you guys. It's also like where shamans and, and other like nature things and people do. You know, they're accessing the collective consciousness of life in general. What I'm talking about is accessing the collective consciousness of humanity, you guys. And so um, I have this happen sometimes even when I'm making videos. There are some videos that the topic that I do, the even in the thumbnail that I do, some videos, I'm just like, okay, I know this is going to hit different. And it actually kind of does. I'm starting to get a lot more like used to creating that feeling. You know how like like in 2007, 2008, the Illuminati and hip hop was like such a big thing and stuff like that, you guys? When they say Jay-Z, Beyonce were these grand wizards and manifestors and stuff like that. Well, I spent a lot of those years actually trying to figure out what did they what did people mean by it you guys and what what they actually mean and this is what i also truly believe you guys is that when in the bible because i'm also a follower not necessarily a follower but like i've listened to the teachings of jordan peterson especially his biblical series on youtube and it was an amazing series you guys and the way that jordan peterson connects the tangible real world with the stories of the bible and how he interprets the bible as basically the story of humanity the collective story of humanity it's been improvised it's been revised it's been you know added and to the collective into into the recent story of humanity which is now like the bible anyways the the being made in his image in god's image to me one of the godliest things that humans have is the ability to create our creativity it's making music it's making art it's talking it's creating it's inventing that to me is what i truly believe the god at least one aspect of god that is within us and this ability to create comes in so many different forms but anyone can create anything but you want to create something that is life Right? There are certain things that you can talk. I also read the book called Power Words by Jocelyn. Um, I can't remember her name. It's Jocelyn something, Power Words. But uh, she also talks about in that book how when people, certain people speak, their words can be poisonous. You know what I'm saying? When someone's talking, you know, like the mood just goes down a little bit. And then when someone else talks, you can feel the energy. You feel the life. You love when they talk. Like, regardless of what you guys want to think, man, 6 9 speaks with life, you guys. Even though he said he's very abrasive with the shit he says, he speaks life. There are certain people that speak life whenever they talk. You just want to listen to them. They just invigorate you. They say certain things. It's like, damn, I never thought about it like that. That's what... It's, it, that's like the speaking life. And so one of the ways that um, I've incorporated flow state, right? And, and, and what I figured out 
and how to how to increase your chances of, of creating great things, no matter what it is that you're doing, is being better at calling upon your flow state and using that through anchoring. And so one of the ways that I do that is through exercise, actually. I practice my ability to go hard. Even when you're playing video games, you know when you're killing it. You, you just know when you're like in the zone. When you're playing video games, you're on Apex, and you, and you break someone's shield, you throw a grenade, and then you use your tactical ability to get out of the situation, and then you come back around, and then you kill another dude, and then you shoot another dude with a headshot, and it's like... You're just you just know what to do. You're not even thinking at that point. It's the flow state. It's it's Goku's ultra instinct. It's it's the nin. You know what I'm saying? And like one of the best ways, at least in my life, and I'm pretty sure this is for everyone else too, you guys, is to use exercise. Sprinting. Sprinting is such a great way to elicit that flow state and get and get better at calling upon that flow state. There are many times when I'll put on a song that makes me feel, gives me a huge emotional response. Think about it in like, think about it with Chakra, Naruto, and even with Nen. They, they, they tell you, because a lot of this stuff goes, originates from like Asia, Asiatic print, uh, practices, where they would use their chakra, they would use their energy, and a lot of the, the, the most powerful energy, the most powerful chakra, the most powerful Nen came from emotions. You guys remember that scene when Gon turned into Super Gon because he was because of that situation with um 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 his dad's mentor. You know what I mean? Uh, or the uh, the dude that his dad mentored with the scythe. He turned Gon turned into Super Gon because of the emotions. Like play, I play like Mama Cry by um YNW Melly. Love that song. That song made that brings up huge emotions to me. And I'll sprint as hard as I can, you guys, and I'll just keep up that same like momentum. And what I'm doing is I'm I'm focusing on that feeling, right? I'm focusing on that feeling that I have. And when you have that feeling and you have it for that moment, you need to capture it. Capture it and then at that moment when you feel it, that's when you use your anchor, whatever it is, whether it's a snap, whether it's a, a voice like a whoo. You know what I mean? War cries are another way people anchor the flow state. They anchor that, you know, war cries are another way to do it. So it could be a word, it could be a phrase, it could be a sound, any of that, you guys. But you got to have something that is able, that, that you can use that will elicit and call upon that flow state. And then on the other hand, too, you guys, when you keep, it's easy to me because it's easier to call upon that flow state when I'm sprinting or when I'm exercising and I'm also listening to a song. It's easier to feel that feeling. And so when I'm working, when I'm trying to do like, you know, whatever it is, when I'm on a, a, a very important business call, when I'm, when I'm really trying to make a sale, even when I'm playing video games sometimes, you guys, I'll try to call upon that. I'll try to anchor and, and summon that flow state. And when I'm doing videos... I'm also doing that. One of the other secrets to this, you guys, this is the secret to success, you guys. One of the other secrets to it is 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 preserving your divine creativity, preserving those those um, ideas. The better you get at calling upon your flow state, the longer, the more time you can preserve your divine creativity. The, long, the more that you act on your divine creativity, those thoughts that come into your head, great ideas for skits, great ideas for videos, great ideas for songs or whatever, the more you act on it, the easier it becomes to act on it. And the longer that divine inspiration remains in your mind. Sometimes you, you're in a position where you're taking a dump, right? Let's say you're taking a shit in the bathroom or something and you don't have a pen or paper in front of you. Or, you know, you just, your, your camera, your tripod is two hours away or something like that, you guys. Like, that idea that you have, you have a couple options. You have three options. You can either act on it right then and there. And it's gonna be less than what it should than, than what you had in your mind because you don't have the adequate tools, so it becomes something different than what you originally had in your mind, right? That's the first thing. The third, the second way is to just wait, you know, 
wait until you're able to go home. But then by that time that you get to the place where you, you have the proper tools that you want to create the vision that you had, all that time that you waited, it's it, that the the integrity of that divine inspiration starts to kind of it gets it gets um attritioned a little bit so by the time that two hours is up and you actually get your tripod to you get to the house you got all the stuff that you want you got the light and things like that the true integrity of that divine inspiration is a little bit less than when you originally had it so once again those are the two things the first one is you can just act on it right then and there and without the without all of the products that you needed in order to create what you the vision that you truly want and so you ultimately kind of have a blend you have like a hybrid of your original thought and then a brand new thought because you just don't have the equipment the second one is you can just wait but then at that point that inspiration that you have starts to whittle away and so like it's not as clear and it doesn't look exactly like how you want it to or the third one is you just gonna completely let it die you just completely let it die, you guys. Like, and you just don't act on it. And that's what happens so many times. But you can get better at preserving the integrity of that inspiration. The more you act on your inspiration, the more you act on those, the more you make those videos. Even if it's not perfect, you guys. Even if it's if it's not perfect, you got to keep acting on it. It's a muscle. This accessing the collective consciousness, the divine consciousness of like humanity, of of whatever you guys, of creativity, whatever it is that you're doing. It takes practice and you get better and better and better and you start to consistently hit that pocket a lot more the more you can call upon this flow state and you can start accessing that like the higher consciousness and shit like that y'all um once again man i'm trying not to get into that esoteric shit like that but i just i read a lot of books and i and i and i i'm very like sensitive to feelings and emotions and shit like that y'all so I hope this really helps some people out, man. I know this was um, very airy and very, like, wordy and whatnot, but um, I hope this really, truly helps somebody out with this, man, you guys. Like, this is some real secret type of stuff that I, I don't see people talking about a lot, man. So um, let me know if you practice this. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about, you guys. Um, but I, I highly, 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 highly encourage you guys to just exercise and, and start trying to access this flow state while you're at the gym that that mode where you're able to so like like you feel super pumped to, to do whatever it is that you're doing sprinting weightlifting whatever get super pumped get used to getting pumped get pumped every day doing something you guys start calling upon that flow state because then you'll be able to transfer that energy that flow state into something else that you really wanted to be in there's something called sex magic too you guys that kind of deals with that i'll briefly get into the sex magic stuff real quick too you guys because i used to kind of try to get into that a little bit and so one of the spells that um i would practice when it came to sex magic sex magic that i read about was manifestation through sex now what you do through that is you increase so like you guys are you you increase that sexual pressure, whatever it is, right? Whether you're mutually masturbating with your partner or you have a sex with your partner or you're just by yourself, right? You, you do the sexual pleasure, right? You tell your partner to please you or whatever. You guys are pleasing each other. And as you increase that sexual pleasure, you want to transfer your thoughts to your business. Transfer those thoughts to a personal goal. Transfer those, those, those thoughts to losing weight. Transfer those thoughts to um, creating better videos. These are different ways that you 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 practice the sex magic. But what you're really doing is you're actually anchoring. You're you're putting very high tangible emotions to thoughts, and then you're using a kinesthetic physical feeling to anchor these thoughts and these emotions into real life, you guys. Because that's the most important part. Your brain and the emotions that you have don't necessarily exist, right? They're intangible. They exist, but they're intangible. You have to manifest it and put it into real life with physical touch, physical sensation, physical something, you guys. That's how this trifecta works, you guys. Emotions, thoughts, slash goals. Combine these and anchor it with the physical sensation 
Boom. Boom. I hope this made sense, man. If it did, you guys, um, let me know. Um, I really wanted to make this, and I'm glad that I did it. I'll probably get into another video like this later down the road, you guys. But that is a secret, man. That is one of my secrets to um, success and, and, and consistently doing stuff, you guys. So, um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.